Hello, we're back. Yep. We're Dan and Mike. Yep. For those who don't know us, Dan, Mike. Mike. It's down there as well, obviously. Is it? I'll put it down there. So it is now. Mike yeah. Bicep Spanner, Dan Bicep Spanner. You know it, mate. Yeah. yeah go go find us on Instagram. Easy. You probably come from Instagram there. So, so yeah, right. don't, don't worry about yeah. that. It's just for the odd person that might just randomly find a YouTube video with us in. We don't pay any to attention go. to the tags. No. So. No, we don't do anything like that. Yeah. But anyway, we're here to help you with all your fitness business stuff um, so you don't fall for any of the <laughs> shit that's out there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Every week we'll do one. We'll do these every week. We'll do them. We do a lot of stuff every week, actually, to what? be fair. Not every week, then. We do, yeah, yeah. Every we week? Do. We do a call live in our members group every week. Every week? Yeah. In the members group? In the members group, yeah. Well, how much is that? Only £49 a month. Really? What do Less I get? Less than £12.50 a week. So. What do I get? You get a video every week. Every week? Well, not every week, then. Every week, yeah. And access to us as well. Access to it? To you? Yeah. Well, every week? I, I can literally go on here now, like, on, on the Circle app, on the group, and I can answer any questions from there someone. I can go on here and I can just, it's like having me in your pocket, do you know? Just in his pocket, here. yeah. You, you could fit in as well. Yeah. You don't, um, not that you want to be in there or anything, but, you know, members, questions, and they come up, look. Oh, there, look. There you go, all the questions. Joe Robinson had a dilemma, and we answered it. Don't worry about there it. There you go. Thank you. No Sorry, worries, Joe. That's fine. Don't worry about it, Joe. Um, uh, yeah. All the uh, all all the videos are recorded and they're kept in there just uh, for those that we usually so you get. get the whole back catalogue as well? You get all the back oh. catalogue, all of them. All the experts that we've had on, all the guests, everything that we know. Um, like this, but even better. Because um, you actually get to ask us questions. Because you're asking questions, yeah. So always in there. They're recorded. You can watch them back at your your and, leisure. And the revenue we made from that is is about four point nine million overall. So it must work. So yeah, yeah. Believe us as well. Just make just the, believe just us. Make the number up, yeah. we, believe us. No, it, it was definitely four point nine. No, it's uh, it's definitely six million now, isn't it? Yeah, I think last time I checked. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe it's gone up. So seven point five. Seven. Yeah. So we basically made nine million. From, yeah, um, basically from that, yeah. from that. Yeah. And that's how fitness business mentorships work. Um, R- rupees. Yeah. What are we talking about? Uh, Instagram stories. Instagram stories in on Q- YouTube in Q4. Just weird, yeah. How yeah. to do it in Q4? How to do it? Not in Q4. how to do it in Q1, two, or three. Q4. Yeah, yeah. How to why do people do Q4? that? Why? Why are business mentors doing that? What's that about? Q4. Q- Q4. Why? I text that. I text you this t- today. Don't I? Get, like, what? I'm right. sick of it. Right. If you're in financials, right, you're in big businesses, doing loads and loads of data, loads of stuff. Yeah, use that terminology. You coach twenty clients, mate. Right. You don't need to say Q1, Q2. <laughs> it's just like. Just talk, talk normally, innit? Just say October onwards. <laughs> Fucking, like, who, stop it. Like, like. It's always a CEO that says it as well. CEO. CEO says it in Q4. CEO. We're going to attack Q4. Q4, yeah. Well, come on, yeah. You've got 20 clients, yeah. It's not hard to top up. Do you know what? Like, £4,250 collected. Do you know what? Banked. Like, it's. I, I just think that it doesn't make you sound any better. Like, no. it doesn't. Do you know just, what it makes me, when I look at it? I think it makes him sound like a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> like, but you know that they're doing it because they think it makes them sound more businessy. Like, oh. it's so cringy. And do you because, know what? Do you know what? Most people, most coaches need to be less businessy. Yeah. They need to be less businessy, which is why we're talking about Instagram stories, and we're going to talk about this in a second. They need to be less fucking businessy. Because let's be honest, coaching 30 people from your fucking bedroom isn't really a business, right? And I would argue what we do at, our, at say, our level, like we do fucking much more, right? See it's you not like a, We're not sat there in a fucking office, like dealing with all payroll and all these people. Do you know what? Like, it's just a bit like, come on. It's like, stupid. And, and, Call it what it is, right? Yeah, you're online coaching. You have an online coaching business because, yeah, you're self-employed and you're a sole trader, you're a limited company, whatever, right? You do not need to ever, ever say Q4 no. ever in your life. It's business Forget mentors. It. Come to my Q4 yeah. event. Yeah, you're playing fucking basketball or something. No, what? it's the only time you would say fucking quarter mental. four or whatever. On, uh, I just It's so wanky. It's just that, oh, I'm a, bu- I'm a business mentor. And it's just like, wow. Yeah. So I've tell got me you're, tell me you're like, an idiot. Tell yeah, me. It's, I've got to speak business speak. So all the online coaches believe I'm, I know business stuff. <laughs> How to attack Q4, come to my Q4 level up. Like, oh my fucking God, get a grip. Like, I don't know if they... If, They're like if the bodybuilders, M1. M1, 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 yeah, yeah. You M1, M2. Yeah, <laughs> but we're breakfast mate, isn't it? you know. Uh, on to M6, right, dinner, you know. Supper. Um, M4 protein box. It's a snack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just a snack. How do you distinguish? Yeah. Yeah, but it changes when it's pre, though. Pre. Oh, it's M1, M2, pre, intra, post. But then is it M3? Surely it's M3. M5. Or is it? Or is it M5? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? 
Um, and now, but, and now they're business coaches. So it's and now, and now, Q2. yeah, and now they know business. And the funny thing is that if you did have someone who knew business or was in finance or whatever, and came and looked at some people that are doing this stuff, anyway, they they would be like, "What?" Like, I'm sure that there's just so many flaws. It's people playing at it. Do you know what it reminds me of? When you're a kid and you play shop. Yeah. Like, and you've got, you pretend, and, and it, you've got your plastic through, and you're scanning it through. Boop. <laughs> like, and it's just pretend. It's just all make up. It's just all made up. Don't forget that these people were coaches as well. Like, same as us, but we don't profess to do anything businessy. Yeah, we it's need like, to change the name of our event. Q1 event. Q1 Dubai event. Q1 Dubai, yeah. That's what it's going to be. Fucking hell. Unbelievable. March, is it? I think. Yeah. Uh, is that Q1? I don't even know. It's in Q1. Is that it? Q1? Yeah, yeah, Q1 point something. I, oh, I hope you've all got your calendars marked up. Q1, Q2, Q3. Yeah, definitely, yeah. When they all are, because it's really important as an online coach that you know those those quarters. Yeah. Um, yeah, really important. Fuck me. Is it Q4? Q4 of the year. Yeah. What about the, What about April to April, though? Financial year? That's tax year. Tax year. Yeah. There you go. That's the one. Unbelievable. What, what does, it, does that count? I don't even know anymore. Okay. I don't know what, what the rules are. Don't know what, what the rules are. About. There you go. Um, what are we talking about? How to dominate Instagram stories. In well, in Q, Q we just Q4. done we've just done Q one of this video, so we'll do Q two now. On to Q2 we'll move now. on to Instagram stories and talk right. about why they're important yeah. uh, and why actually being less businessy and more personal helped us grow from thirty to fifty clients over the time period of using Instagram stories. There you go. Yeah. Um, kind of what we what we did then, what we think you should do now. Obviously, with this, the principles the same, and then also some of the things that we've noticed now that That's are useful well. on Instagram stories and things that we've picked up. You may have noticed the same thing. I think it'd be good to hear your comments below always comment below because none of you do none of you do anymore no. comment below please comment anything below. just put q1 just put just got past q1 what, do that uh, what about do q1 nailed ready for q2 just yeah. write that in the comments because what's, what's, what's your favorite q <laughs> yeah right. mcdonald's q there Mine. you go that's the best one. for breakfast my one definitely i do you know what i'm looking forward to we are back in the uk at the end of november we are mcdonald's breakfast it's the one thing i look forward to when i go back you it's about the enjoy. only thing in the uk i look forward to um when i go back you do enjoy it, don't you? I do like a McDonald's breakfast because you can't get pork over here. So. You can't, no. Well, you I can. You just can't get a McDonald's. So. I don't eat pork. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Uh, Dan does. And look at the difference. So. So that's your you decide. Everything, everything you need to know. Whatever, what you want to do. That's an advert, isn't it, for not eating pork? Ever, I've seen there one. you go. Um, so yeah, Instagram stories. So we've talked about the story about when we left Team Box in the previous video. Go watch it. Um, there's a card up there there isn't there isn't mm. <laughs> yeah there's a card up there Matt, do, you, do you ever watch YouTube videos and people say that I watch a few golf ones and they go oh, I'm going to put a card up there never do I'm no. like, yeah, I, know the, I, know the, I know the feeling mate yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you say it and they go oh, yeah. Shit. Um, and yeah why, how we went from sort of like 25, 30 clients at the time to over 50 in quite a short space of time the reasons for that we believe is because we were more authentic and more ourselves on Instagram phone's going off who's that? mine yeah what, who is it? oh I don't know have a look both me and you was it? no Oh. Well, mine's on do not disturb, you know, because I'm professional. Yeah. Just my dad. Oh, it's, was, is yep. he all right, is he? Yeah, he's fine, mate. Yeah, he just said, uh, when are you free for a chat? So, just okay. said, well, not right now. Not now. Unfortunately. No. So, I will put on do not disturb because these you lot, you lot deserve my full attention. There you go. So, it's on do not disturb. There we go. Um, can't remember what I'm saying now. Yeah. On Instagram stories, we were more authentic, more personal, more passionate, turned up more often on there, uh, and were less business-like and less corporate and less professional and guess what? We've got more clients on the back of it. So give, give that a go. The thing that you think that you need to talk about, you don't. I'd probably just go with that as good advice. <laughs> yeah. Like, just do the opposite of what you probably think that you should Yeah, do be the doing. opposite of what you think would come naturally to you. Yeah. Um, so the, the, way that you, the way that I use Instagram stories, which is not very good, actually, to, to be honest, anymore, because um, we're literally too busy. But... Um, the the in, in, in fact actually with a lot of our with a lot of our information that we that we stick out we put out information that helped us grow not information that that, that we're doing now which i think is quite useful to understand or or to to just uh, i guess appreciate because what you will hear from a lot of other business mentors i think will be how they run their business now which is not what it was when they were growing a fitness business. So it's mm -hmm. not it, it's not necessarily the same. Hence the charge up front option, you know, um, the, the debate and whatever. Um, but anyway, so when we were growing, we would use Instagram differently because we'd got more time, put more att attention to it and we were growing. 
And here's what you should be doing. Um, stay until the end and we'll give you something for free. We won't. Oh, you said just say that. Make sure you subscribe as well while you're here. There you go. Yeah. We forgot that one. Do I that. like it and stuff. Yeah, do, do that. that. Do that first. Only You can only get the free thing if you're subscribed. There you go. I don't know, I don't know how I'll find that out. I've got no free but, free yeah. You know people say that. Like, yeah, yeah. You have to be subscribed. Don't Should know. we ask oh. them to do something else? What's your favourite McDonald's breakfast? Comment below. Comment below. This one's going to go viral yeah. with all of these. If we get 1,000 likes, I'll buy the 1,000 liker uh, McDonald's breakfast. There you go. I don't know how you'd find that out. No. <laughs> they won't. Just saying. They won't. Um, it's better than making up revenue numbers, isn't it? So yeah, it's fine. better than that. Yeah, so, it's definitely better than that. Yeah. yeah, so if you think about it, right, um, if you have... 2,000 followers and you have 200 story views, you don't have 2,000 followers. In my in my mind, like, yes, the number up there says 2,000, but you don't know who that is. That could be any bot account. That could be the next door neighbor's cat account that got set up. That could be the butchers down the road. It could be fucking anybody. So in my mind, if you've got 200 people viewing your stories, stories, story stories, not reels, but stories, then you've basically got, in my mind, like 200 engaged following, roughly. And it might be there or thereabouts. It might be a little bit more than that because, you know, not everybody's going to watch your stories maybe every day. It could be 250, it could be 300 or whatever. But it'll be somewhere around that margin. It certainly won't be 2,000. You don't have 2,000 engaged audience. So the way that you use Instagram is, in my head, threefold. You use your feed. And that is to attract more followers that number at the top. So you use your feed to attract more followers by talking about things that are fitness with your influence on it. So your heavy opinions on fitness related stuff and show your social proof. So it's to attract more people in. It's also to put a penny in the bank with your current followers. That's what your feed is for, is to attract new people in and to put penny in the bank for your current followers, for them to see a bit of information that you put out or a bit of value or a bit of entertainment or a bit of social proof. It's a penny in the bank. That's what that is. Your stories are then there to build a stronger, deeper connection with said people who have come into your following. And that is the number that you want to try to make as large as possible because we don't have the biggest of followings at all by any stretch of the imagination. But what we do is, what we what we do have is a really engaged following. So I know that we get more views on our stories than people with account four or five times bigger in terms of total followers. So the total followers don't actually mean much, to be completely honest. It's the engaged people that are on your stories that mean more. And you would you would compare that to your open rate on your email list. If you have 2,000 on your email list and 1,000 are opening, you've got 1,000 people that are fairly warm. 1,000 might, might never open an email from you ever again. It's those 1,000 that you that you concentrate on the ones that, that are opening it. So it's the same thing. If you're getting 200 views on your story and you've got 2,000 followers, you concentrate on these 200 or how to make this 200 bigger and play that game so in my mind, a lot of people play the game of trying to go viral with their content on their feed, but pay absolutely fuck all attention to being great at Instagram stories and building a deeper connection with the people that have said, yeah, I like you enough to follow you. If someone likes you enough to follow you, do a better job of then pulling you in, like pulling them in, sorry, do a better job of pulling them in with your stories. That's where you would use your feed, your stories, and then those people that are watching your stories, that's where you then use the messenger service of Instagram. So it's threefold in my mind. It's the feed to attract and to put a penny in the bank. It's the stories to build a deep connection. And then with those people that are engaging with your stories, let's just say 300 people, you then engage with those in the messenger within Instagram. That's what you're using it for. Everything in your power should be done to boost your story engagement. Everything. Like, I would rather have our following now with our uh, with our basic with our story views than increase. It. Like, if someone said, Mike, you can have 50,000 followers, but your story views are going to half, I wouldn't take it. Mm -hmm. So then, does followers matter? No. So you've got to focus on stories. And too many coaches use stories as, a, as an afterthought 
like if you are putting up two stories per day and they're both reshares of something you've been tagged in and someone else's post that you've shared, fucking hell, that is poor. Do not use stories as an afterthought. That should be the biggest connector to the people that have said, I like you. Do not slack on that. Do not, do not, do not I've, slack on that. I've had days where I haven't posted maybe on Instagram for like four or five days on grid, but still turn up on stories. And that's the one thing that I would over, over grid post, turn up every day on that. Over, over grid. Someone said to you, you could only do one of two for a week. Stories every day. In my mind, coaches should be doing both. Obviously. Straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I agree with you 100% that if someone said, you can only do one, I would do stories. Yeah. And, and when we talk, to, we talk with coaches about this and we sort of say, right, I need to put up more stories, right? The general trend is always what they start doing is talking about fitness stuff on stories. They then start going, oh, okay, I'm going to post. So I, I'll set a coach challenge and I'll say, right, I want to see 10 stories each day from you um, over the week. And what they start doing is resharing their posts to their, to their story or their reels. And I'm like, no, 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 right, no, no. What I mean is stories as in like your day, your life, what you go up to, what you do. And I say this to all the coaches I work with, is that I do not know you. I said to them, I said, I followed you now for a couple of months. I don't know anything about you. And I said, what do you know about me? And they'll reel off lists. They know my dogs. They know I've got a daughter. They know about my wife can't cook. They know I play golf. They know I like scrambled eggs. All this sort of shit, right? They know all this sort of stuff. I'm like, right, so how do you know that? Well, I've seen it on your stories. You post about it all the time. Correct. What do you post all the time on your stories? No, uh, nothing really. And that's why I know nothing about you. Mm. And it's like, how are you ever going to get someone to know, like, and trust you enough to want to work with you and spend £200 a month with you if they don't know you? It's that straightforward. Like, it's that straightforward. It's like, right, they follow you already, so they know you know your stuff about nutrition and, and training, and they know your social proof there. They wouldn't have hit follow otherwise. That's, that's why they hit follow. Someone hits follow because they see your feed and go, oh, this seems like all right. They seem like they know what they're doing. Right, so you've got them in on a professional level, right, that they know that stuff. The next trick is to get them to like you from a professional level. You know They know that you, you're good at what you do. To like you enough to want to work with you. How do you think you do that? By sharing stuff on your feed. No, no, they've already seen the stuff on your feed. In that no, mad. No, they've seen that. In they that see mad. that. <laughs> they see that. I'm going to share my post off my feed onto my story. So, do you, again, like Mike said there about the story viewers being your most engaged viewers, they've already seen that. They would have seen your feed because the way the algorithm probably works, I have no fucking clue, but I'm guessing it shows your posts to those people who watch your stories more than it doesn't. Do you know? Mm -hmm. I'm sure it does. So then it's like, okay, so what do you then need to show on your stories? More of stuff that they can't see on your feed. <laughs> more of that, which is you. It's your life. It's what you get up to every day. It's your, it, and, and I get, you get this from coaches, don't you? Yeah, but I'm just boring though. My life's boring. Yeah, but everyone says. And I said this to a client the other day. I said, big brother though, people watch that, don't they? That's people just in a house. They, got, they go nowhere, doing nothing. Millions of people tune in to watch that. You watch real reality TV shows, Love Island, all that shit. They don't do anything. They don't do anything. They do the same things all the time, right? It's the same concept. Every year it's the same concept, but with different people, right? It's the people that make it. It's the interactions they have. It's all that sort of shit. It's getting to know them and you all have your favorites. I don't even know. I don't watch it, but I'm guessing they have your favorites and you, you, you like watch because you really kind of like you really want someone to win it based on a couple because of because of who they are and how they act and you're not giving people an opportunity to have that feeling about you on your on instagram stories and it's painful to see people just posting like their reels or their 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 posts from their feed and i'm like i, I just you're not giving me a chance to know you every day you don't is a day you're just a further away from getting where you want to be so it's as painful. I said that your feed needed to be fitness with, with a you twist or a you influence, the opposite needs to happen on your stories. So it would look weird to post, well, not weird, but you wouldn't post a picture of your dog every day on your feed, right? It's going to be more or less fitness related. Although most coaches probably do better off doing that. <laughs> Some of the shit I see. But so... Yeah. so 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 just as like like your feed is is fitness with a u twist and it should be a heavy u twist but your stories it should be you 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 fitness you bit of you, social proof you social proof Client doing well. yeah, yeah you you fitness rant like it should be you like and even the name of it instagram stories your story it lasts for 24 hours what's your story of the day your story of the day more often than not is fucking 
a reshare of someone's tagged you in something. Fucking hell. Like Dan said that, is that everybody thinks that they're boring. It's because you're doing it. Yeah. Like, it's because you're doing it. Like, Kardashians don't do fuck all. One of the biggest TV shows on the planet. Like, MTV Cribs, it's literally someone showing you around their house. Do you think that they think their house is boring? Yeah, they live in it. They do it every day. Do they? They open their fridge. You've got fucking YouTube videos of people opening fucking Kinder Kinder eggs, just to see what the the toy is. Like, yeah. there's what you think is boring isn't to other, every everybody else. Dan posts scrambled eggs. He, his missus can't cook, so on and so forth. Do you think he thinks that's boring? Yes, because he does it every day. Yes, because he has scrambled eggs every day. Yes, because Laura can't cook. Yes, but he makes the point of showing it all the time. Not because he wants to, but because that's just part of the game. That's just it. And something I said to our, our uh, coaches on uh, on the live in the members group that we do every week. Every week? That we do it every week. Every week, that's cool. So, we do it every week. Yeah. And me just showing off about it being every week, I've just forgotten what I was going to say. Uh, no, that's it. <laughs> you need to have common themes running throughout. You need you need to have it because that's what builds up that little connection. You need to have a common theme. So over the years, me and Dan have done like almost running themes within our within our stuff. So like just like I've just done every week, people were repeating that back to me in Instagram DMs. Yeah. It, and if we kept up every week and we kept saying that every week, saying every week, every week, yeah. People people would know us for that. And the beauty of it is, is you can create it yourself. You can just make up something stupid like that, and and say and say it, and then keep saying it, and people cotton onto it. Like that's the beauty of it is. So like over the years, dancing in scrambled eggs, I used to call myself the omelet king, and then people again, just just made up, just oh fucking hell, Jesus Christ, <laughs> break the table. Yeah, man, he's hurting. That's why. Yeah. Like the, the beauty of it is, is I'm I'm not the omelet king. No one's ever called me the omelet king. I just made it up. Funny that. I just made it up. I just did that. And then people started sending me omelets. There was a time where I used to tag Ainsley Harriet in every meal that I made. And then I ended up with an Ainsley Harriet cardboard cut out and he was in the back of our stories and people would send me his me- Ainsley Harriet memes. Like, you, it's just it's made up. It's, it's made up. I, you, you make up your... I call myself Nutrition Jesus and superimpose my face onto, onto Jesus. Like, it's mm-hmm. made up. No one's done... And the beauty of it is, is you can make it up yourself. And if you do that consistently, people will cotton on and have some banter with you. I think coaches feel like they need to ask like Instagram permission to like post certain things. Do you know what you think? You can like, do what you like. It's just, yeah, people, they, I, I find it really baffling with coaches because they, they, they kind of think, oh, I never thought of that. And I'm like, well, it's, what do you mean you never thought of posting that? Like post more stuff that you didn't think of posting about. Like just why don't I want to see that? Well, why wouldn't they? Instead of why would they? Well, why wouldn't they want to see it? Post it. See do what you think anybody would want to see? Do you think that I thought? Oh, do you know what? What's a good idea? Like, right, let's just look through the online coaching manual. It says here to tag Ainsley Harriet in every <laughs> yeah. in every bit of food and get a cardboard cut out and just have it in the back of your videos. That's what it says. That's what it says here. That's what it says here. It yeah, says like it, yeah. The, 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 it's your rule book. Yeah, like. I don't know who they're waiting for. Like I said, I don't know who they're waiting for, for permission. I don't know. I don't know what it is. And, I, and sometimes like I'll do check-ins with some of my clients and I'll say to them, well, why don't you do that every week? Yeah. Do you know, every day do that. Oh yeah, really, that's a bit boring, isn't it? Not more boring than what you're doing at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> so, so do it. Isn't Try it. it. See what happens. You're already posting the same thing every day and that's a reshare. Yeah, it's a reshare. It's a bit boring that no one cares about. Yeah. Um, and I always say this to, to, to coaches is that, you need to put your twist and your opinion on what you're doing every day. Yes, posting your breakfast every day is boring. Not when you start putting, like you say, like one of my co- one of my clients, he's an absolute moron. He's probably going to watch this. Who is it? Steve. He posts oh, his craft. coffee every day. Yeah, posts his coffee every day. Oat milk, oat milk, flat white, whatever he has every day, right? And he just slags off anyone who drinks black coffee. He's like, good morning to everyone who drink, everyone except people who drink black coffee, yeah. right? It's a boring thing of him having a coffee every day. It's his habit. It's a thing he does. But he turns it into an opinion piece where people are going to go, oh, you're an idiot. Oh, I, yeah. I do it. I fall for it every time. I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. Yeah. I'm like, who drinks fucking oat milk? Whatever. Apparently a lot of people do these days. Apparently. It's a new thing. But anyway. And, and it's that whole concept of like, when I post my eggs, I always say that I'm like perfect. I put like perfect again or like, you know, best eggs in the world. Like I do make it. And people come back and oh, I'm not quite a bit overcooked for me or a bit under whatever. 
the amount of times people have to give their opinion on topics yeah. that are totally, that's what people want to do is they want their, you, they, they will give you their opinion on your shit. So you have to yeah. put something up and then you have to almost entice that opinion out of them. Guess what? You get better engagement on your stories. Your story views start going up. When, then when you do post that social proof, an extra hundred people have seen it. That could just be the little trigger that they need to go, oh, quite like that. It's Talking of Steve, he's just starting to copy me, hasn't he? He has, yeah. yeah. yeah At no, least he no. tagged you in it, to be fair. Yeah, he did he tag me. You in it, didn't but, but the thing is, is that I, I made up this thing called Desk Olympics. Just made it up, just out of my head. Just, just made it up, just black blank screen, and just make a noise on my on my desk with something. Could be a pen, it could be me clicking a mouse, it could be anything. Just play the sound and then just give options. Someone messaged me going, "I bet this is fucking great for your engagement." I went, yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. It is because I know what I'm doing. Because as well, the other thing people do, of course, with that is that they have to then listen unmute again. it. So they listen to the sound. Let's go back, listen to it. I know they have to that. unmute. It, yeah. yeah, that's why I've done. And it. It's just like and. Like again, where was that in the manual? It wasn't. I just thought about it. You could do all sorts of stuff. You could do loads of these things. We give all our people in the members group get more tips than, than we're going to give out here on YouTube because yeah. you know, every week as well. They get. Tw- twelve pound fifty a week. Just every twelve pound fifty a week. Yeah, yeah. Quite an investment that. Inv- not really, is it? Forty nine yeah. pound. It's. Well, I don't know if we've got time. Right. This is. I'm going <laughs> to go off on this. Fuck me. Right. So. So one of the most common go. things that we get on on the members group for forty nine quid, forty nine quid, is that they don't have time to watch the videos. And I, and I love this because I turn it around to them and go, yeah, but you've posted content only last month saying to people that I don't have time for the gym. No, you do. You just start a priority. So I know that so many coaches don't make their business a priority, right? For, for, for that, number one. Don't have time. Don't have, I don't have time to watch it. No, of course you don't. But then people say, I don't have time to do Instagram stories. I don't have time to find good content, to post good content. I'm like, fuck me. <sighs> Literally, you have to take pictures of what you're doing during the day. It takes 10 seconds. Yeah, you're right? already doing it. You might think it's boring, all that sort of stuff, right? You're already doing it, right? And it just frustrates me because, again, it just highlights that growing your business isn't a priority right now. Just say that. Just admit it. Rather than pretending, rather than joining a £49 group for a month and then leaving because actually it's going to take some fucking work and actually it's not all laid out on a plate for you, shock horror. You actually have, we have to watch the hour-long videos to get some good good information. Oh, can you not make it shorter? No, it's good information. You're fucking watching it and you're going to take notes. I love it. I love it when I get a... Unbelievable. Yeah, so I love the group, um, but do you, know, do you mind just cancelling the subscription because um, I've not really got time to implement it all. I just go, yeah, no worries. And I know you're going nowhere. No disrespect, because yeah. there might be some people here, but I go, well, you're going nowhere then. Do you, right, know the you people, do you know the people who get a lot out of that are the ones who, after two months of implementing shit, go, um, yeah, so about the one-to-one stuff you do? Yeah, literally that. And I'm like, because they know what you can achieve and do, and they go, I just need some accountability now to, just, to, just to kick it up a level and go on. It's- and and do you know what? That's why, again, sneak behind the curtain, right? The members group idea, right, we had. We know what we're doing with it. Funny enough, we know what we're doing, because... Anyone who comes into that, like you said, and after a month cancels that and don't have time, if they were to book a call in with me, I'd go, no. Nah. Because you didn't have time to watch an hour-long video every week. Every, every, every week. week. You didn't have time. So I'm like, okay, so you, ain't, you, ain't, you are not going to have time for what I'm going to get you to do. <laughs> Tell you that. The, for free. the excuse is, or the valid point would be, I have no accountability to action it. That's yeah. the valid point. Yeah. Which yeah. is correct. You don't have accountability. That's why we've done it. Because it serves as go and take this information, go and do the bits that you can with it, earn enough money that you can then afford our one to one. You then get accountability and things go up to the next level. Yeah. The, but don't say I don't have enough time to watch one video a week. Like you do, you, you do. It's not a priority because it, you wouldn't be in there if you didn't need clients. Mm-hmm. So by definition, then you should have some time there that's available. But it's usually I get yeah I've had a lot on. Had a lot on for what? Like, oh, we've not had anything on for the last no. eight years. No, whilst we've no, been, I've never well, had anything on. We've never, luckily, thank God, we've never had anything. We've not moved countries. <laughs> no. we, moved, we didn't do that. We didn't move countries, no. you know, and nothing dropped. I've we got 100 clients to deal with. Nah, yeah, no, 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 no. no, 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 no. no. We haven't got like, nothing on. It's fucking absurd. <laughs> yeah. It is fucking mental. But again, for us, it serves a purpose. We know why we're doing this stuff, is it's a, it's a filtering Filter. system. It's a, again, people behind the curtain, it's a filtering system. And it's the same with like, again, with Instagram stories, like again, we come back to this whole thing of like, one of our previous videos talked about like different YouTube and like whether to go on YouTube and LinkedIn and shit. If you can't turn up Instagram stories every day and post your life, just fucking give up. Just give up, like honestly. And this maybe sounds a bit harsh, but it's the truth. If you can't go on your Instagram stories every day, right? Give up. 
because it's a waste of your fucking time. And and I genuinely, genuinely believe that coaches underestimate how consistent they need to be. Yeah. With all this stuff, within, especially certainly with Instagram stories. But it, you have to turn up with the same message and the same thing and the re- you have to be relentless with it. You have to be so relentless yeah. with that. It's not hard work. This is the thing that people misconstrue is they think it's going to be hard. What I ask people to do isn't hard. It's just consistently turning up doing the same things all the time. It's, it's, it's a marathon and a sprint. It's doing it relentlessly for a long period of time because there is nothing that guarantees a client in next week. I've got a couple of guys who who I work with who have done everything right and again full transparency this isn't me saying oh everybody does great I've done everything right five six weeks no clients come in but rather than focusing on the result of getting clients in focus and double down on the process yeah. and in the last couple of weeks the, both of the guys that I'm thinking of one of them eight signups the other one seven signups all in one week in one week and I said look where you're only ever a week away from a good week like that and you don't know when it's coming. So you've got to keep showing up to make sure that it does happen. Because that, that let's just take one of those guys to sign up eight people. It might sign up two next week or three. It might sign up none. But you have to keep showing up so that at some point people will start to come in. Like, don't... Again, people are too... People are too... They shy away so, straight so, away. So my argument to that is always people say that oh, I've, I've turned up every day for four or five weeks and got no one in. Okay. So what's the alternative? Yeah. Don't turn up. Well, then they're definitely not going to come in. Yeah. Then they're definitely not. So I'm like, okay, so what we're doing now is the bare minimum. Turn up every day on your stories and your feed is the bare minimum. What we can do from there is tweak things for sure. But it's that whole concept of like, oh yeah, nothing's really coming. Okay. Well, don't worry about it because we need to, we obviously need to figure stuff out. But if you then don't post, well, they're never going to come in, are they? Yeah. Then they're never gonna. Ha- it's never gonna happen for you. I find that really baffling to me. That yeah. someone goes, What's the "Oh well, no one's come in, so I'm gonna stop." Yeah. What? No. Like no, because that then they, then you're gonna have zero. Then hmm. <laughs> I just find it. I just find the concept of it so strange because I think what we ask people to do is there's nothing. The problem with online coaching as well. One of the biggest problems. It's like with Instagram stories. Is that more is not always better. Better's better, but posting 60 Instagram stories a day is actually going to be just as bad for you as posting none because no one's going to fucking watch them. Mm. I say just as bad. No, it's not at all. People are still going to watch it. But there comes a point where you do too much. And it's the same with Instagram. If you posted 10 posts a day, it's a bit fucking pointless. It's like, well, who's going to see certain ones? Are they all going to resonate? You're not going to know what's going to work. And the problem I think you have with this job is that I think there's a lot of people out there who are prepared to work hard. And they think that if they work 10 hours a day, that they're going to see more clients than if they work two hours a day. And unfortunately with this, there's a, ter- there's a certain amount of hours of work you need to do, but it's over a two month period. Mm-hmm. And if you were accelerating that, that work from that amount of time down to two weeks, you wouldn't get the same result mm-hmm. because it has to be, like you said, turn up consistently every day. every day. And people hear your voice regularly enough. And it's a psychological thing where over a period of time, they need to hear your voice and understand your message, understand your niche. So there comes a point where you can't just work harder. You do have to just keep turning up. Yeah. And I think this is where sometimes coaches feel bad for taking a bit of time away and time off. And they're like, oh, I posted every day for 30 days. I think I just need a few days off now. I'm like, fuck me. I'm not being funny, but it's not that hard. It's not that hard. It's not that many hours of the day because again, I'm not getting you to work 12 hour days for 30 days. You can, you can do all your content in one day for the week. And you don't have, that's not working. It, re- the it really, time. It, it winds me up. It's, what you mean is, is that you've got no creativity. That's what you mean is, mm-hmm. that's what you mean. Because to sit and write a post, to create a carousel or to put up an image or to do like a caption, like I would do, like a Twitter style caption, probably takes you 15 to 20 minutes to do, to do something like that. Mm-hmm. So you do have time because there isn't anybody that doesn't have 15 minutes, 20 minutes. There isn't, there isn't anyone that's watching this at least anyway. So then it's lack of creativity then. So if it's lack of creativity, then... That's your problem that you have to fix, isn't it? Because you you can't you're never gonna get anywhere without fixing that problem because you're always gonna come across this friction when you're trying to put out your content. So, like it's not a difficult task. So like you've just said there, is that it's not a twelve hour shift. Like and I know that you you probably got some Instagram rants rants or whatever. It's like you're not a nurse doing twelve hour night shifts. You're not down the mines. You're not doing manual labor you're being asked to post on instagram once per day and 
and, and show up on your stories. That is fucking luxurious. Like, yeah. me and me and Amna actually had a conversation last night about if we could be reborn in any moment in time because we watched we watched something and it was I think it, I think it was like set in the 1920s or something like that. I was like, now. I was like, now. 100%. I was like, because we were born before social media came in and the internet and stuff. So we've got the luxury of being, you know, brought up around people, playing outdoors and things like that, not being glued to our phones. We've also seen the invention of that. And now is the most prime opportunity for us to 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 be able to do something for ourselves. Like if I was born in my parents' era, no internet around, I would probably be doing a manual labor job, probably a trade or something along those lines, like from my background. Now is the perfect opportunity to do it. We we can reach thousands and sometimes fucking tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands even, by being sat at home. Like, what a fucking position that is, yet people still whinge about it. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, it, it it can be demoral- demoralizing sometimes. Like, but it it's still not hard though, is it? Like, it's not hard. It's not hard work. No. It's, it, and it's not, do you know what? Like, I again, I'm going to do a rant on this Instagram. Probably come out before this video anyway. But it again, comparably, you could earn the same amount of money as as a as a trauma surgeon in in the NHS. And those guys do twelve hour shifts back to back, seeing people people dying on their table, having to deal with the fact they could have saved someone and they didn't, or or whatever. And you know the the things they must see and like and I. I I've been seeing a lot of on fucking Instagram at the moment. Like, fuck me. Um, I started, I watched, I think Laura sent me a couple of like dog videos and now all I see on my fucking explore page is these poor fucking dogs that get seen by vets and like, you know, abandoned by people. And it's fucking painful to see and watch. And you think about all these people, all these vets and all these like dog shelters and they have to deal with this constant stream of just dogs coming in. Like, just being mistreated and find new homes from stuff. I'm like, and then I hear an Instagram, I hear an online coach say that it's hard posting every day on Instagram and I just want to fucking punch someone. Because I'm like, you have no clue what's hard. You're making it hard. You're making it hard because you're not putting out your own message. You're not putting out your personality. You're not being authentic. You're pretending to be something you're not. And like you said there about creativity, you only have a lack of creativity when you don't talk from in here. Yeah. We are never short of content. Never. I could get up tomorrow and film eight bits of content and I'd put them all out. I don't because at the moment I can't be asked, right? That's different, right? That's a different thing. And I'll admit that I There's don't... can't be asked. There's also not... Not, not needing to. Not needing to. Degree, to, to right? Not needing we're, we're, to get we're, clients. We're in a luxurious position as well. We have someone edit these videos for us and they and they put them out for us and, and we have to just post a reel and we put a bit of caption up and because we do it together and we post it each other. Only one of us has to remember to do it. It's been mainly you at the moment, but... Always me. Um, I still have been though, so it's fine. Yeah. Um Works out. But yeah. like, I think online coaches need a reality check half the time because what they're being asked to do is not hard. It's really not hard. It's that they don't want to do it. It's There's an entitled nature is what I think. Like, I think business mentors have ruined online coaches a little bit because there's a feeling of entitlement that why aren't I earning even five grand months? Five grand months? That is a doctor's salary. Yeah. Like a high up doctor's yeah. salary. And tell you what, you're not working as hard as a fucking doctor, so you don't deserve any of it. Like, and this isn't this this isn't us saying that you shouldn't earn as much as doctors and so on and so forth, right? Like th- this is this isn't that. Like we're all four people growing their business. Like we absolutely love seeing people succeed. Absolutely love it. But if you want that to happen, you know what you have to do. You've got to work your fucking bollocks off. I just How about how about being the best at everything that you can be? How about making everything the best out there? How about, like, when me and Dan have done stuff, we have tried to make it the best thing out there. We we were doing video check-ins with people before, before fucking anybody that I knew. Mm. We had our fucking spreadsheets, tracking data. We, we're now, we believe what we're doing with coaches is, again, better than anybody else is doing it. We're doing one-to-one check-ins with people with coaches looking at their businesses in detail giving feedback every week what every week every week week. like we believe that we're doing it to the best of our ability like and there's just this lack sometimes in the industry that that's good enough 
Oh, that'll do. That's the bare minimum. I put a post out, so why not? Because like it's like, shit. Why don't you do yeah. it fucking brilliant? Yeah. And when you've done it brilliant to the best of your ability with tons of passion, tons of creativity, you've thought outside the box, you're, you're sparking ideas, you're creative, like you're being known for something, people want to watch you, and you've done it every single day for a year, then see where you're at. Because you probably will be at 5K, which is pretty fucking good. I, t- I tell you what, like when you look at the, those numbers and you hear about that, like say with a doctor salary at that, ask yourself the question as an online coach, are you doing the equivalent of a four year medical degree and then the four years medical training in a hospital on lower pay and seeing the shit and the flies and the starvation? No, yeah. I'm joking. Um, are you doing that equivalent to get to that 60K? Like, because you, cause you're not, because you're not. Like, and I know you're not. And, and I know that people aren't doing it because I know the people that are doing it are there. Mm-hmm. They, they and I'm not asking you to do eight years of shit. I'm really not. It's not eight years of that. It's not eight years of dealing with all that sort of stuff and all the other things that comes with it. It's giving a shit enough to go. No, I'm not going to put that post out because it's not quite good enough yet. I can make it better, making it better and then posting it. Not leaving it three days then posting it. No, doing it the same day and, and it takes you 15 minutes to figure it out. It's going out your way to be better at copywriting, to learn how to edit videos, mm-hmm. to learn how to use this software, understand how to use that, or find someone to do it for you, um, if you might. <laughs> <clears throat> but there's this serious lack of, of effort, just a lack of effort from, from people is that rather than, um, and we probably get it, uh, you know, as well, instead of going to Google and YouTube and figuring out how to do, do this, don't text me, go Google. It's Google, it's YouTube. That's not what we're here for. Mentor's not here to ask a question, how to do this on Canva, no. how to do that. Stop, how to reply it's, to this message. No, 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 no. Go YouTube, go Google that. We have a bigger picture stuff. Fat loss coaching. Yeah. Anyone that's, if you're, you wouldn't tell your fucking fat loss clients to Google something, but you would think that in our, in our job now, when you tell someone to do something, we would expect that people go and do it to their best of their ability. Because anytime that we've been mentored or, or taken advice from people, you get on with it. You figure it out. You work out what's the best. How are we going to do it? What angle can we put on it? Can we do it better than what, any, what anyone else is doing? That That's how we go and do stuff. Yet, it does seem that coaches want everything fucking laid out. And that is why they're joining mentorships that are promising a yep. done-for-you content strategy, done-for-you template that, that right, right, That right there should not be a benefit of joining one. It shouldn't be, it's a but, it, but, it, but it is. But it, it, coaches see it as a benefit. It's a negative. It is a negative, 100%. And that is right there, gold. And it should that should scream out to any of you watching this that you shouldn't be like everyone else. That's a negative. The it shouldn't thing, be a benefit. Is, is that people will people go, are oh, so what? lazy. People will go, I struggle with my content. Oh, and this mentor says they're going to give me a content plan with templates. Winner. <sighs> If you think like that, be prepared to get nowhere. Yep. I, I promise you now. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you now. Because you can't okay, have a done for you template on Instagram stories. You can't. you can't. That's not what it's about. You can't have a done for you template with anything. No. You will just blend in. You will not be yourself. You will not get your personality over. People will not come to you. You will then also not know how to create your own content, write it to figure out how to video. You won't know how to do that post mentorship. Like the or post mentorship, they just do their own mentorship. They, they create their own with their own done for you templates. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. <laughs> yeah. yeah do that. But fucking honest to God, I mean, this this video was about Instagram stories, but Instagram it's gone. Stories. It, I mean, it somewhat relates to it, but it, it, we've gone off on a bit of a tangent. But it again, it, it's 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 people think that there's this some there's this something missing in what they're doing, and the only things missing are consistency and authenticity. Yeah. They are the only two things missing. And they're the two things that you know that that's missing, but you don't want to do that. So you're looking for everything else first. And believe us, like you said, there will be the last people people come to is that that will be the last thing you come to. Well, that's the only thing I haven't tried yet. So I'll try it. And that will be the thing that works. Every single person that you strive to be like has those two things. Guarantee it. (laughs) The guy posting recipe videos, he's doing it in his own way because he's passionate about it and he loves cooking. If you don't fucking love cooking, stop doing fucking recipe videos. Does my head in. Post stuff that's authentic to you, right? We are very much passionate about calling out bullshit. We're very much passionate about telling it like it is. And we're very much passionate about ranting. So guess what we fucking do? We don't come on here being all airy-fairy and trying to be something we're not and telling you to love yourself and all that sort of crap and that you can just lose weight by not counting calories. No, you can't. Like, do that. You can't. 
just it just yeah so take that message and like i think with you and like your own message and what you're doing and your own stuff think about that and think about are you actually being yourself are you actually putting yourself out there or are you too scared to do that because if you are too scared i promise you the the thing that's stopping you from going your business to where it wants to be is the is fear and know, that's all it is it's just fear do you know on average it takes uh, between 36 and 48 months for a business to turn profit do you know that so for any startup business on average it takes between 36 and 48 months to get profit most businesses um are in the negative are in the red after year 1 and uh, it's, it's some mental statistic that only 20% of businesses survive or something like something that. Like that. Yeah. So, something like that. It's probably because they didn't do the Q4 forecast properly. Yeah, probably <laughs> the Q4 forecast. Um, but you take that in mind and go, okay, so you you pluck Dave, online coach who works for business professionals, of course he does, uh, and put him in any other business. And you wouldn't expect to make money until year two in any other sector, if that's the average. So why in this business... 10K a month. Is it... <laughs> I do something for a couple of weeks and yeah, it's not worked. What? I don't know of any other business that would be like, oh, it's not worked. You know, start a shop or something like that. Yeah. Do no marketing for it. No posting on social media, nothing like Open a shop. No one's bought anything. Oh, close that down then. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. What? Yeah. Like, it doesn't make sense. Like, honest, honestly, I, the biggest bit of advice, is Dan hit it there on the, on the head, it's consistency and authenticity. Like, do those two things. And, and it doesn't matter about the specifics. It doesn't matter about whether it's a reel or a carousel or the bits that you think matter. It, it's not that. It, it, it really, we don't have a content plan. We don't go, right, we're going to post a reel on that day. On, on that day. Oh, photo on that day. You don't do it. Like, you don't need that. You just need some passion. We you need creativity again, and authenticity. That's what you need. What we, what we do is we rocked up to here, right, to this, to today. Right, and I literally text Mike. I said, um, "Yeah, what we're going to talk about uh, today at ten forty-three. I said, "Right now, on the topic ideas we've got, uh, so when we get together, we can go over it." And literally, just seven sentences, right? And I've got seven sentences. That's all we need to go off on a rant for thirty minutes and provide some value for you. You should be the same in your business. You should be the same in fitness. And when I say authenticity, I do not mean saying. Oh yeah, so you really need to get protein in. It's really good for you. No, 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 no. I mean, like what you deep down want to say to people, what you deep down really want to say, and what you want to feel. You know those things that you go, I really want to say this, but I can't. You can, and you should, because we do that all the time. Is I write down everything that pisses me off over a week in my notes section, and I just go and talk about it on Instagram. And luckily, we've got Joe does all our reels for us and stuff. So yeah, it's these, and we, we get them out. But again, he knows which bits to get out because they're the bits we're most passionate about. That we talk the most passionately about them. They then go well on Instagram, right? And the stuff that we say, when we say, again, I think people just think being authentic means like just saying something that they believe in mm. and, and like, as in like nutritionally. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. We mean like, like your beliefs, your ethics, your, what you stand for. You need to get that across in your fitness content. Yeah. People like, think it's like whether they believe in mindful eating or not. Yeah. That's not being authentic. That's just, that's, no. that's subject matter. That's yeah. subject matter. Right. <laughs> Being authentic is like your, your voice, your voice, like your world views, your your way, the way you view things. I said this to somebody else. Even the way day. you'd say it, the way you talk I said this about to someone it. Someone else, I was like, use your stories like you're talking to the lads at the pub. Yeah, even on those same topics. Yeah, like even the topics that you would talk to your like, to your mates down the pub about. Like talk on your about stories, you should be you should be using the same words, the same terminology, the same sentences as you would talk to your friends. I said I said it to a client the other day. I said to her, she did a she did a video on Instagram, and I said, and it was and, and it was along the lines of like, you know, using very, very much scientific speak. And I said, if your friend was sat there and they asked you the question, how would you describe this? Is that how you would have said it? No. Then next time, do that. Mm -hmm. Explain it as you would explain it to your friend. I think it was about doms or something. And they were talking about like the pro, uh, I can't remember exactly what it was now, but it, it was something like that. And I was like, is that how you describe it? And they went really deep into like some of the scientific words. And I was like, no, you wouldn't say that. Mm -hmm. You would not say that to them. And we do the same with our business stuff. We wouldn't say Q4. That's what I mean. We wouldn't, because you're a fucking idiot if you say that. You just wouldn't. At no point, do you, me and Dan. Do you, know who you, do you know who you would say Q4 is your finance colleagues if you were sat in a pub on a Friday and you're talking about your targets for next quarter yeah. because you're in finance at HSBC me or whatever. and Dan, outside of taking the mick out of other people, have never once said Q4 to one another, yet it doesn't mean that we don't have plans set out for this year, <laughs> next year. Yeah. At no point. So why would we use it in our content? Just the same as... 
Uh, if if you, whoever you are watching this, I wouldn't go, hey coach. Wonder that either. <laughs> hey yeah, coach. everybody else is that. Hey coach. Oh hey my coach. god. <laughs> what? I fucking uh, hate that. I've niched hey, down though, so I'm, I'm. Hey coach. Hey bu- hey busy professional. Yeah. <laughs> in it mental. <laughs> in it. Hey excellent Wilder. Hey, busy professional looking to lose weight, losing, looking to lose 10 pounds and skyrocket the confidence we're, in the next 10 weeks. We're, we're without giving up the foods that they love. You know, there's your Instagram bios, all of you. Um, uh, anyway, anyway, I reckon we should stop because this is fucking- I need a, I need a coffee. Gone yeah. off on it. And um, anyway, like, share, subscribe, Do all, all that, that shit. Thank yeah. you. I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.